from Linkin Park actually committed suicide. I mean, he's been involved with, I think, addiction or drugs of some sort. So, um, parang kaliwat ka na ni mga taong um, akala natin they are okay, but they're actually not, and they actually um decide or choose to actually um commit suicide. So that's very surprising and alarming as well. So can you uh, talk more about the importance of mental health awareness in the country and how it actually affects the rest of, uh, of the society? Well, recently I've read an article. It's from CNN Philippines dated on July 8, 2017. It says there that the Philippines has the lowest suicide rate among ASEAN nations. But the thing is we Filipinos are also vulnerable. We are also subject to mental illness such as depression. Well, suicide rate in the Philippines, for every 100,000 population, 2.5 men die from suicide, while 1.7 women die also from suicide. Well, if you were to ask me about how a person dies from suicide, for me, on my own perspective, they just don't die because they killed themselves. They died because they're building that sense of sadness, the feeling of emptiness and loneliness. It accumulates within. Um, on my previous talks, I always say, it's okay not to be okay. Okay lang na hindi mo alam, sagot sa mga katanungan mo. It's okay you question yourselves why. Because uh, everyone passes through dark days. Eh. Lahat merong subject yan sa kalungkutan. It's emotions. Mm -hmm. Emotions is not only saying na dapat ka lang forever maging masaya. How can you be truly happy if you don't know what sadness means? Wow, I, I mean that that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, pero ang nakakalungkot kasi parang na stigmatize yung mga people with mental health issues in our society. So, how to be an advocate but for mental health? I mean, is it really worth fighting for a society kung saan maraming old school beliefs and superstitions that are still evident until to the uh, up to date? I mean, until this day. Uh, I like to um the question. If, is it worth fighting for? We advocates, despite that we talk about mental health, are also subject to um, emotional harm. We are also vulnerable. We are in sponge. And if you ask me if it's worth fighting for, I guess it always is. Like, the sense of fulfillment, when you get to speak and um, feel empathetic about the other persons, you get that sense of fulfillment, ay salamat, nakatulong ako, despite the personal storms that I'm going through. In the, I'm not only saying in the Philippines that there are a billion of people going hungry, there are a billion of people who wants to be happy, and there are a billion of people who need love and the sense of hope. Hope, hold on, pain ends. na even if I'm undergoing a such battle or personal crisis, emotional crisis, the best way to overcome depression is you also help. So we are all we advocates, vulnerable we may be, we are also subject to. Um, uh, seeking attention, love, and care. Kaya kami tumutulong din. It's so, it is always worth fighting for. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes, gusto ko yung mga ano, quotable quotes na binibitawan ng ating napakagandang guest ngayon. Ano. So, aside from doon, uh, Miss Noel, yes. so, kasi mayroon tayong connotation na ang mental health is more on about anxiety, depression, pero what is really mental health? Okay. Kami advocates, when asked that question, I always say, on my previous school, because we have this quote, to educate is to set a person free. To educate is to, is to transform the world. Kami mga advocate ng mental health, gusto namin, ine-educate namin yung rest ng society. Kasi hindi pa ganon ka-develop, hindi pa ganon ka iniintindi ng rest of the mass, ang ibig sabihin ng mental health. Ang mental health kasi, hindi lang yan basta sinabi, malungkot ka, sige, umiyak ka. Malungkot ka, sige, kumain ka. It's not just like that. Mental health is also the same as physical illness. Kaparesya ng cancer, kaparesya ng kahit anong illness na pwede mong maisip na life-threatening. You know why? Because when you are depressed, you lose that sense of focus, you lose the sense of appetite, manghihina at manghihina ka, your health deteriorates. So, ano ang importansya ng mental health? Binibigyan, you have to have that sense of self-care eh. Kasi alam, you know when you're reaching rock bottom. You know kung kailan ka, alam mo kung kailan ka dapat tumawa, alam mo kung kailan ka dapat umiyak. That's why when you ask your question kanina, paano na overcome ang stress? In my own perspective kasi, when I know I'm reaching the rock bottom of my life, o yung mga panahon na, na feel ko sobrang lungkot na ako, I find an outlet. 
it is an essential siya for every person na maghanap ka ng outlet mo. Doon mo bukos lahat ng galit mo. Don't contain yourself in a room and keep crying. Sige, pwede. Once in a while, you burst out your emotions. But every now and then, set forth. Go find that sense of interest, whether it's dragon, uh, what do you call that? Dragon boating. Okay, or in my case, I go for wakeboarding. I play the tennis. I exert my emotions there. Kasi pag uwi ko, when I go home, I'm tired, I sleep. Then the next day, I wake up, the sun rises. Sometimes it might be stormy. But there's a new day for always to be a better person than who you were or was yesterday. Ayan. Um, uh, I recall ano, before our airing today, no, you mentioned that you yourself experienced depression and some sort of uh, mental uh, health challenges. Is, is that true? I mean, can you tell us more about it and how you actually overcame these kind of challenges? Uh, on my uh, talk, hindi ko sinasabi na, I'm not ashamed to tell my story. Every one of us passes through dark days, sabi ko nga, di ba? Everyone is subject na mawala. You, you question yourselves, why am I happy? Why am I like this? Why am I alone? Bakit? Ang daming questions. Uh, during the time, though, I was in high school that time, and I kept questioning myself a lot of whys. And um, it's not an easy road. It's not an easy path for me. I, just like any other teenager, I question like, bakit ako ganito? Bakit hindi ako ganyan? Why do I have these things? Why can I fit in in such a crowd? Uh, I even ask for help, some of my friends, uh, professional help. Uh, the process is not easy. But once you've overcome that, you yourself would say, buti na lang na kaya ko. The best thing that I told myself is, na kaya mo. And I'm proud of you. That's the greatest achievement you could have ever done. You, kasi, if I gave up at that time, how can I experience life fulfillments right now? I'm not saying I have a perfect job. I have the perfect love life. I have the perfect status. But I can say that I have the perfect um, optimism or perspective in life. Na sinasabi ko, hey, buti na lang nagawa mo. Kung hindi mo man makaya, just hope. Hold on. Pain ends. Oh, na baka gusto ko yun na ah. believe in H O P E na ah. hold on pain ends. So tao naman yun mga kabrigada na walang problema ang permanente. Yan lahat yan temporary lang at dumadaan. Kaya nga lagi yung tatanda di ba? Lagi namin sinasabi sa inyo this too shall pass. So lahat ng mga problema, pagsubok, lahat yan, lahat ng mga nararanasan mong bigat, sakit, lungkot, lahat yan malalagpasan mo, higit sa lahat, lilipas din niya. Pero bago yun, um, Miss Noel, may mga kabataan kasi tayo na hindi nila alam, hindi nila pinapahalagahan yung importansya ng pag-alam mo ng emosyon mo. Kung baga, minsan, alam na nga nila malungkot pa sila, hindi na nila, hindi sila gumagawa ng mga ways para ma-overcome yung lungkot nila. Is kasi sabi, diba, Um, thinking negative is really ad addictive, right? Yung, yung parang self-pity, yung parang becoming a victim mentality. Di ba hindi maiwasan yun sa mga kabataan natin? Lalo na sa mga kabataan nag undergo na breakup. <laughs> di ba? Kasi yun yun, yun eh, yung parang victim. Bakit nga ako iniwan? Ano bang mali sa akin? Ano bang kulang sa akin? Anong masasabi mo doon, uh, Miss Noel? First, gusto ko gumamit ng code. Avoiding unhappiness is not the road towards eternal happiness. Hindi porket iniiwasan mo ang kalungkutan, magiging masaya ka. Hindi porket iniiwasan mong i-acknowledge na malungkot ka, magiging masaya ka. You have to be gentle with yourself. Being gentle, hindi ibig sabihin, bukas na umaga, okay na ako. Mamayang gabi, pagkain ko ng ice cream, okay na ako. Being gentle means forgiving yourself when you mess up. Knowing and feeling are two different things. Sige, alam mo. Pero what counts is always feeling. Alam mo eh, alam mong malungkot ka, so ano ang dapat mong gawin? Your choice, you only have two choices. Maging masaya ka kung sa anong meron ka, or patuloy mong questionin kung anong wala ka. Um, if you were to ask me, kasi conformity kills individuality, lalo na sa teenagers, sige, ano bang nakakapagpasaya sa akin? Party, alak, kahit ano pa yan, go! If you, what you have is lost, paano ka magiging masaya? So my advice for teenagers, sige, you enjoy what you have now, but don't forget to, na alaga ang sarili mo, don't lose yourself in the process where you conform. Kasi the more you try to conform, the more you lose yourself. So, gusto ko sana you build that sense of kind heart, the calm mentality na, sige, if I don't have these things, or meron man ako o wala, I can continue to be happy because I choose to be happy. I deserve to be happy. Ayan. Al alam mo dahil dyan, uh, Noel, no? naalala ko na, for example, meron tayong mga friends sa Facebook na nagpo-post ng mga 
hugot or emotional um, statuses, no? Huwag daw natin silang i-provoke na, sige, bahala ka dyan. Dapat iparamdaw, iparamdam raw natin sa kanila na they are not alone, that we actually care about them. Actually, it can actually save life, a life, kapag pinaramdam mo dun sa taong yun na meron pa siyang silbi sa mundo. So, I mean, how do we actually um, encourage people na medyo, you know, nagbabalap to to actually commit suicide na huwag nilang ituloy that we should celebrate life instead. Do you have um, uh, some words of inspiration or motivation? Para sa mga kabataan na nakikinig ngayon, alam ko marami kayong questions like bakit? Ano ba nangyari sa boy ko? May purpose ba ako? Hey little buddy, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to feel weak at times. If you have to seek some professional help, go. But first you ask yourselves, kaya ko pa ba? If you you can you weigh out options. I know kasi kaya mo eh. Y sabi nga nila, 'di ba? Old saying, hindi ka bibigyan ng pagsubok na hindi mo kaya. So I know you can do it. Hold on, pain and pain and little body. Remind yourself na kahit gaano man kabigat yung problema ang binibigay sa iyo, you don't give back the pain to anyone. As much as possible, there's the word empathy. Maging um you you show some kind of appreciation and love the way that you wanted to receive. Kunyari, gusto ko makatanggap ng pagmamahal sa iba. Why not give that kind of love also to others? Kasi sometimes, the reciprocation of love goes along the way. When you don't get a miracle, maybe you can still be a miracle for someone else. Kasi all along the way, life is a process. Life is a continuous process of knowing and feeling. If you continue to know and at the same time you feel, you feel empathetic, everything changes. Gratitude changes everything. Wow. Gusto ko yung ano, ano yung mar, magkaroon ka ng pusong nagpapasalamat, hindi yung pusong nagre-reklamo sa buhay. Ano. You should be grateful in everything that you have. Na, despite of those problems, eh, there's a rainbow after the rain. No? Diba mga wow. kabrigada? Kaya, kabrigada, no? may mga katanungan ka pa ba sa ating guest ngayon? Well, um... For now, I think, um, kasi ano, alam mo, Kabrigadang Audrey, ano, life is a blessing and we should celebrate it. I mean, for example, committing suicide, hindi lang, it's, it's not just all about you. What about those persons that you're going to leave behind? I mean, meron nga akong nabasa ng quotation, no? how to commit suicide without causing pain to anyone? Don't. Iyon yung sagot. Don't. Do not commit suicide. Celebrate life. Think about your parents, your loved ones, your friends, your family. Naiiwanan mo kapag ginawa mo yun. So don't. Celebrate life and appreciate your being. Miss Noel, may mga parting words ka pa ba sa mga kabataan natin? O yung mensaheng gusto mo? O mga challenge na gusto mong ibigay sa ating mga kabataan? Hindi sa mga kabataan na, kundi sa lahat na matanda man niya, bata man niya, lolo at lolo, tito, 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 tita, at kung ano-ano pa man. Ano pong masasabi niyo? Sa mga nakikinig ngayon, bat kabataan man o matanda, people of all ages, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay na marami kang questions, it's okay na hindi mo alam kung bakit ka nagkakaganyan because these worst parts of your lives can also be turned into good and even more special moments. Mahalin mo yung experience, experiences mo, both good and bad, kasi this will shape you to become a better individual ready to face tomorrow's challenges. Ayan, wow!